Hello, my name is Dr. Mary Burkery, and I'm the program director for the Cornerstone courses and the history program here at Excelsior College. My doctorate is in women's history, so I'm excited today to talk to you about Women's Equality Day, which is celebrated every August 26, and what it can tell us about the larger history of two interrelated women's movements, the fight for suffrage at the turn of the 20th century and the 1970s feminist movement. If you're interested in learning more about the fascinating histories of American women, you should register to take HIS 326, A History of Women in America here at Excelsior. So Women's Equality Day on August 26th of each year celebrates the day in 1920 when women gained the right to vote with the official certification of the 19th Amendment. Achieving suffrage was a long fought battle of more than 70 years, led by multiple generations of women who lobbied, rallied, and protested for their constitutional right to vote. On the 50th anniversary of that date in 1970, the National Organization for Women held a massive strike for equality, acknowledging the lengths that women still had to go to achieve true equality with men. On this day, they asked women to go on strike, both from the workplace and from their work at home, to demand equal treatment in employment, education, and childcare. Estimates are that more than 100,000 women participated in some sort of march that day in more than 90 U.S. cities and 42 states. The next year, Congresswoman Bella Abzug introduced legislation designating Women's Equality Day, and President Nixon issued a presidential proclamation on August 26 of 1973. We've celebrated Women's Equality Day with presidential proclamations on each year since. Today, in 2021, we can celebrate and remember that day for the struggles and achievements of our predecessors both in 1920 and in 1970, and we can also use it as a moment to reflect on what remains to be done to achieve and preserve true equality of the sexes both today and tomorrow.